Hey guys, this is QA Shahin, and this is my second video on my Jenkins series. In this particular video, we are going to look at trying to set up Selenium as a test and then running that through Jenkins. So let's quickly talk about the agenda of this particular video. The first thing we're going to do is effectively write a Selenium test. So we're going to write a test from the bottom up. So we're going to write it completely from scratch. And then we're going to try and run it via Jenkins. So there's a couple of things we need to do before we can write the test. The first thing we need to do is download the Chrome driver. So in this video tutorial, we're going to use Chrome driver to run our test. Since we're going to use Selenium to actually run tests, we need to add in a dependency in our POM file since our project is Maven based. And finally, we're just going to write an absolute basic test to go to my YouTube web page. And once we've done that, and once we've confirmed all of that is working, then we're just going to go to Jenkins and see how we can use Jenkins to run that particular job. So before I do that really quickly, I noticed in my last video that the mouse cursor disappeared and I only noticed that during well after I uploaded the video and there wasn't really a lot I can do about it once I uploaded the video so in this video I'm hoping that the mouse cursor doesn't disappear anyway let's go ahead and start writing our test just as a, a side note if you want to figure out how to actually install Jenkins, then please refer to the first video in this video series where I do go through setting up Jenkins and we quickly write a really basic test, just a simple JUnit test and run through Jenkins setup that way. Anyway, let's proceed with the agenda of this particular meeting. So the first thing we're going to do is go and download Chrome driver. Now to do this, all I will say is download Chrome driver. And let's just select this link here. And we are going to download the latest release. And I am going to download the Windows version of Chrome driver. So as you can see, it's just a zip file. So if I just go here, all I'm going to do is extract it locally. And once I've extracted it, I am going to cut and paste this into the root directory of my project. So in this case, my project is JUnit demo. Okay, so that's the first thing done. And the second thing I need to do is now, based on our agenda, is to find out what the dependency version is for Selenium. So if I say Maven, Selenium uh, HQ dependency and let's try this one okay so this is the version that I want so I'm just going to copy this and I am going to paste it into my POM file which is here and I'll save my POM file so you can do that with either Control S or File Save All, and this will start to grab the Selenium relevant jars. So if you have a look here, you can see that it's grabbed the Selenium jars. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can actually start to write our test. Now in the previous video, all we did was we had some really basic tests. So I don't need these anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of them. And I'm going to start writing a test. So what do I need? Okay, so I guess I'm going to need a before method uh, to set up my driver. So I'm just going to say public void setup. And I'm also going to need an after method to effectively clean up anything that I don't need. So I'm just going to say teardown in this instance. And I guess I'll say uh, private web driver driver. And in here, I'm going to say driver is equal to new Chrome driver. And in here, I'm going to say driver dot quit. 
okay uh, let's go ahead and import this stuff in so I'm going to import in the before and the after and the Chrome driver now with the latest version of the web driver implementation you now need to basically provide the path to your Chrome driver so traditionally with the exception of some of the recent updates you could just call something like Firefox driver or some other driver and you would try and pick it up based on the location directories on your machine but now that isn't the case with the most latest version of Selenium you now have to provide the actual location where your installation of whatever browser you're trying to run in sits in so that's what we need to do now so I think this was system dot set property uh, so in this case we need to provide two values Oop, that's not right just property and the value we want is webdriver dot chrome dot driver and the location of our driver is basically the root directory so in this case it's just chrome driver.exe and that's it so it's pretty simple nothing too difficult let's quickly go through what we've done we've got a before method all it's doing is instantiating the driver and before it does that it sets the path to the driver itself and in the after we're just closing the driver so the whole point of doing this is to kind of write clean code from the very beginning so that's a little bit more easier to understand we also need the actual test itself so we're going to say public void and let's just say something that like should load q a shahin youtube page and all we're going to say is driver dot navigate to and we need the url obviously so let's go get the url so we're going to copy this into here and let's get the title of the page so that should be driver dot get title and let's just do a basic assertion so let's just say assert true that the driver um, let's just say title dot let's say QA Shahin okay and that's literally it so all we're saying is navigate to my YouTube page. So if you remember, my channel was previously called Glassbox. I've changed it to QA Shahin now. And get the title of the page and store it in title. And then all we're saying is check to see that title contains QA Shahin. So before we run it in Jenkins, let's save this and let's run this locally to make sure that the test actually works. So if we go to JNet, then we can see that the test passed. Okay, fantastic. So really, this is really good and this is really easy and really straightforward. Um, again, quick, quick recap. Before method, the only thing it's doing is initializing the driver. After method, the only thing it's doing is closing the driver or rather quitting the driver. But the test itself, all we're doing is we're navigating to my YouTube web page. We're getting the title and then we're just asserting on the fact that the title contains QA Shahin. This is just to confirm that we are on the page we expect to be. Okay, so we've run this locally. Now all we want to do is try and run this via Jenkins. So before I do that, I need to obviously start up Jenkins. So we're just going to say Java jar and we're going to pass in the WAR file, which was in my C drive. Let's give this a second just to uh, boot up. Okay. So now if we go to Jenkins. I'm going to log in. Okay. So if we create a new job.
new item and let's call this selenium demo for now uh, let's make it a freestyle and let's just say okay and in here our parameters are going to be virtually identical to our previous job so all we're going to see is add a build step maven and let's just say test and advance and we're going to provide the location of the pump file which is if i go back to my project directory so there's the pump file there so i'm just going to provide that and i'm just going to say save go back to jenkins and now i'm just going to try and run the selenium demo So as it's running, I'm going to actually try and see if I can dynamically see the logs. So we can see that the test is now running. And it looks like it's passed. And that is virtually it. So as you can see, it is as far as the job configuration is concerned. It is no different to the other JUnit job we had. In essence, all they're doing is picking up the dependencies from the pub file and then running your test locally on your machine. So at some point, we'll start considering running Jenkins on some kind of server somewhere. But for the moment, all we're trying to do is understand how to run different types of jobs in Jenkins. So. In this particular video, we have done a handful of things which were very simple, but they've given us tools to really start building up knowledge around Jenkins and how to run projects in Jenkins. Predominantly, we basically wrote a very simple test using Selenium and Chrome driver, which all it did was it navigated to my YouTube web page and all it did was check that the title existed. And then we ran the job locally first via the IDE, i.e. Eclipse. And then we did exactly the same thing, but this time through Jenkins instead. And as we saw in this video, they are virtually identical as far as running the whole process is concerned. There really is no difference between running just a simple JUnit test and running a Selenium based test because all the relevant changes are picked up from the POM file as far as Jenkins and Maven is concerned. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. I'll see you in the next one.